once again here, Electronique 2012. Here with Manchester's, one of Manchester's biggest acts at the moment, we've got to say, it's Dawn Ray. Sure. So let's go back and start talking about you guys actually producing and talk about DJing. When did you guys, did, what came first yeah. basically, DJing or production? Uh, <laughs> I, have to, I have to say, well for me personally, it's always been the DJing side. Um, what was your DJing? It, 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 what was your, it did. That, it, Sorry, go on. What was your DJing? Um, initially, like I was like a proper, proper true hip hop head, you know, right. from a young, young age up until like well into my teens, that's all I listened to, do you know what I mean? From when I found out about labels like, you know, Def Jam, yeah. EPMD, Public Enemy, LL Cool J, um, people like that who just sort of like, the sounds that was coming from the States at that time was something unique, you know what yeah, I mean? Definitely, definitely. And even though as a child I was like, you know, music was all new to me, it was one of them that just sounded completely different to anything else, you know? Especially things like Public Enemy, it just sounded yeah, like yeah. Armageddon, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that sort of stuff like is what sucked me in initially. And then just a sheer love for music sort of led towards, in the end, sort of like coming to uni, obviously doing the whole raving thing beforehand, um, coming back up to Manchester um, to go uni and sort of like, um, yeah, meeting a few people, a few like-minded people who are into the same music as me and doing a bit of DJing and, you know, from hanging around together, it just kind of all just rubbed off on me. Was and, that like um, forming a collective at that time? Yeah, well? yeah, it was exactly that. That was like way back in like the mid 90s now. Um, so yeah, I say when I say come back up here, I was actually born in Manchester and then grew up in London. So when I come right. back up here and, and met all those people, like I said before, it was like, just seemed like the way to go. Yeah, true. And yeah, a good set of people and yeah, like the DJ and Bug just like gripped me and the rest is history. What, what year was that when the DJ um, I'll say like that was way back in about 94, 95. Right, 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 right. 94. So just so as jungle has kicked just jungle. Just as it like up. dropped, yeah. yeah. So I was going to obviously like places like Eastern Block. Yeah. Um I think like Fat City Records had yeah. just formed at that point in um in Affleck. Yeah, yeah. So I used to nip up there, picked up a few plates there, and then obviously like Eastern Block was the place at the time, like Mark um, XTC, XTC was working yeah. there, and Marcus Intellect was mm. working in there. And yeah, the whole vibe and like was running at that time. And then we got spinning records as well. That's it, yeah, that's it. Like and then obviously like meeting Sapo, um, mm -hmm. Serge or Sarge was it? Yeah, at that time it was working there Sarge. as well. Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah, that's it. And um, yeah, people like that. And yeah, um, I suppose it was nice because I sort of like come up here and had the whole sort of university thing going on. Mm. But I tried to really immerse myself in the, the Mac way of things and like get to know the people who we're doing it up here and like go to their nights and yeah, just show the love for the scene that was up here at that time. Big, big yeah. one. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's the, for me it wasn't it wasn't so much hit, the, the hip hop like as early back as clothes, man. I kind of discovered by chance probably hardcore when it first got well, around sort of 90 end of 91 start of 92 right, okay. mm -hmm. and it was just it oh, was just the break beat sort of side yeah of man it was a chance thing hardcore, the yeah. crowd just kind of settling in on it around 92 that was kind of yeah, yeah grand national kinda, you know yeah, what i mean that yeah. was kind of kicking it back then yeah, it was man i i by chance i was like i like you know i kind of used to wake up in the night man i was a light sleeper as a kid man and i just used to turn the radio on and one night Turned on the radio and started hearing tunes like this guy was playing, it was like a dance show and uh, this guy was, you know, it was on the, it was a guy called Steve Mason right. and uh, mm. some, some, he's like a guy who does like, uh, he's not like a well-known DJ but he, was, he is like abroad because he does like, uh, big, he's big in Germany and places like that yeah. but he's like an English guy. And he was, he was doing his show and it was like Trip to the Moon by Asun, yeah, Shop and Dance, yeah, Green Man, tunes, you know, tunes. just like Jock's Nightmare, Messiah, There Is No Law, yeah. just get, and all these tunes, <laughs> like, I heard this, and I heard Sweet Harmony the first time by Liquid, which was like, but it wasn't like the original one, you know, with all the piano in it, it yeah. was like a hard mix of it. And I was like, oh, listen to the beats and that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, was that a 4-4 four, four beat? No, it wasn't yeah. a 4-4 four, four beat, it was... Um, just it was, as it become broken? Yeah, no, it was yeah. like a proper broken beat, yeah, it yeah. was like heavy break man and I, and the thing is previous to that just before that I, I sort of caught a kind of whole uh, straight out Compton you know NWA thing mm. you know sort of whereas hip hop started to get really heavy mm. the beats and stuff and using heavy breaks and this kind of was that continuation but with more the 
you know, the rave sounds that you know today. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and I just kind of got onto it. I just thought this is amazing. Just got onto it and just started taping the shows, man. And just my education just went from there, man. I just constantly listened to it ever since, you know. So what's the first mm -hmm. tune that both of you can, you say this with the first tune that you're hearing, but I've got to be down with this. I've got to uh, be part of that. You know, you know what I mean? Um, for me, like it was, it was quite a few at that time that just sort of all came in like one sort of splurge, if I could call it that. Um, like where I lived, like growing up on my estate and that, like there was loads of lads who were going out raving, like, Coach, you need to check this sound. And I was like, oh, I just speeded up hip hop, you know what I mean? That's the time. Yeah, like because the beats, and then I, when I really zoned in on it, I was like, Yeah. You know where the, the beats, beats come from? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. and it was like, Right, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. And then from when I went to, it was like my first like proper, proper rave was like Dreamscape. Right. Um, alongside of Jungle Fever and like hearing tunes. At that time, the tune that really got me, I have to say, um, was Sound for the Underground. Yeah, um, yeah Chrome Time. Time. Which in the end, was it has become an anthem, yeah, do you know no, what I mean? No, no. Um, but you know, if you're one of those who was about from the inception of yeah, that tune, do you know what I mean? Part, so it was yeah. like, yeah. So that, Bourbon Bass all day were killing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Were, man. Um, Future Assassin, Yeah, yeah. Times, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Danny Breaks was just that's the it. bomb at that time. That's it. Room, so. um, and I suppose that was when all of a sudden the hip hop tape started to become less than 50%. <laughs> I mean, it was like all of a sudden. I'm not like, selling you well, but you're yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Exactly, because what we were listening to was fresh, it was new, and it was from where we were from. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? That was the main thing, yeah. yeah. It was like, right, okay, it's on your doorstep, you know what I mean? Tunes are getting made here. Yeah, yeah, And true. it feels like it was ours and not the ownership well, it is, of it. it is, yeah, that's yeah, our yeah. heritage, bro. Exactly. Not what anybody says that's half heritage. What about you, Bob? Yeah, no, well, that's, well it's, quite, it's quite funny, because I always say that it was literally the time when I first started doing these shows and another one of the tunes I think today still sticks with me and it's just amazing but I don't think it was that big um, was um, Debt by yeah, the Demon Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demon wow. Boys yeah. And I say this to Coach, right? It's and he's like tune. that, man, going, it's a big tune. Well, yeah, 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 but man. I bought it for oh. the, the other mix. Right. But when Abe told me, I goes, yeah, that was on the other That's side. Sick. And I goes, yeah, yeah, yeah Demon Boys. I mean, that album. Yeah. Right, I could sick. never work out whether it was yeah. 33 or 45. Oh, yeah. like 33 <laughs> sounded sick. Yeah. Yeah, 45 yeah. sounded a bit sick. So I was like, is this hip hop? Exactly. Exactly. It was right in the middle, and you know, it was Ragged Twins, wasn't it? And Million Down and that. Yeah. You know, it was that. I just, I just thought, like, Kojo, like, I like the, the, the vocal version, yeah. but I, I, there was like a jungle mix of it on the other side, and it was literally called the Jungle Debt, yeah, yeah, Jungle yeah, Debt, yeah, it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and that's I, what Rebel MC was on, that was the same yeah, label yeah, as well, yeah, so, yeah, the uh, 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 like Shin's Humanity, that yeah, they come yeah, out with, okay, and the tunes yeah, like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. They were at the same time, at the same label, and they were killing it. Another yeah, one, and wicked, just man. another one though that I've got to mention as well, like, I always used to get onto, and it was another tune that I had to go out and get the vinyl, man, just to have it, man, and just like play it. It was uh, Express Yourself by Family yeah, Foundation, yeah, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> Old X, isn't it? Yeah. That, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's like sweet, man. You know, it's amazing. In like you know, sort of a lot of the tunes that XTC's done over the years, man. It's heavy, yeah, that heavy, was one of heavy, them for and sure. they were some of the earliest ones that, yeah. that you got to hear. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah, all that kind, all them kind of tunes, man. But Jungle Deck was the, yeah, yeah, got, sure, two good choices. Yeah. Um, what's yeah. the Straight to the slip match tune, which yeah, <laughs> big up on that tune. The yeah, tune's wicked. One yeah, of my all time yeah. favourite tracks, anyway, the original and the Spent. remix of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell that's us a bit about it. I was saying this before, we were talking about this before how people, you know, people do ask me, how do you get hold of that sample? How do you get hold of that the sample pack? And I just say, well, I asked the guy. So can you just explain to people that if it is, you know, just take that step forward and ask people? Yeah, I mean, I mean, what, what kind of happened with that was um, I was chatting to a guy called AJ, who's an old school DJ from Blackpool. Yeah, from and, um, you know, he's, he's uh, he said, oh, you know, I know, I could, I'll ask Slip, mate. I know, I know him from back in the day. And I said to him, well, you know, if you could get the sample, We'll do the remix, and he was just all right then, you know. And, and nothing really happened for a while, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he kind of says, Yeah, yeah, I've got the samples for you, yeah. And then, so, you know, he come round to the house, man, and he kind of, I said, You know, come and sit in and watch the session. So he come in and sat in and watch the session, and, uh, you yeah. know, we, we put it together, man, and then, you know, 
Um, after that, um, we sent it to Mike, and Mike kind of, you know, sort of went through the channels to get it sort of cleared and stuff, mm. and Slip Mac sort of cleared it, and it came out on the step back session. Yeah, that was yeah, it, really. Second, yeah, yeah, that's how it happened, man. It just happened like that. Originally, we, we wanted to do it because um, we wanted to have a version of it that we could play because um, you know I don't really want to go into it too much but there was there was a version that had just come out re you know at the time or a, a, like a while a, a bit before that mm. we, we weren't feeling as much you know what I mean I'm not yeah. going to say anything more about it it was you know what I mean it was what it was but it wasn't our kind of thing so we wanted so very we wanted, diplomatic yeah, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so, so you know um, we wanted to make something that we would that we would like that we wanted to play in the set man that's how the idea yeah. initially came about and, and pay homage to it yeah, pay homage to it, man. man. Yeah, and also you know, do it justice yeah. if possible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely yeah. Yeah. that, man. Tunes that was I mean, we didn't want to. We didn't want to change it too much because it's such a good tune on its own. Yeah. We just wanted to have like a updated, an updated bit, fresh version. version. Yeah, yeah, fresh yeah. version of it, man. And at the mo at the time, you know, a couple of years ago, that was. Because was it ninety four? Was it that first? Was it ninety four? Night, yeah, yeah, ninety three, ninety three, ninety four. Right, right. Like, yeah, a bit earlier, man. But you know, the 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 um. What is it? The, the, at the time, there was loads of kind of uh, remixes coming out of that mm. style. You know, you had like Blade Runners, Renegade Snares, yeah, was yeah, doing the yeah, rounds. Yeah. You had your people was high contrast as well. He was, yeah, yeah he, he did a version. Uh, yeah, um, well. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's Cold Fresh Air. You the had by poison. you know Higher Sense, which yeah. scientific remix. You had uh, mm. you had all the step. You had the previous step back sessions, which, was, uh, which had a load on, which yeah. were like you know sort of Papa Lover remix yeah. by yeah. Serum yeah. and. You know, um, you had the, uh, what was it, was it the R? Yeah, that was the R, the R, R We Are the R Remix, was on one, yeah, it? We Are E Remix right, by yeah, Aries, Aries yeah, one um, yeah, Aries All of My right, Remix, yeah. you know, some, uh, and you know, it was just, it was just kind of just one running tunes from back in the day, yeah, yeah. yeah. but just been, but they've all just been yeah. freshened up, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Do you think that was because, not saying that it got stagnant, but where it was just, people just, Sick of what was going on at the time, so uh, yeah. it's like a cycle, you know. You've got to go yeah, back to I where it was. So. Where yeah, we yeah, 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 I think so. so. I know for sure. I think, yeah, the, the music, like, I mean, the, the D and B's, as you know, it's it's as big as it's ever been. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, there's so much of it out there. It's so and diverse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, whereas you know, like back in the day, you'd see like you know a dozen DJs in a night, yeah. but you know like 70% of the sets are going to be pretty much the same tunes. Yeah, true. Whereas nowadays there's so many subgenres within the genre. <laughs> Take it a bit more to about your own production and you know, your own style of production as well, especially with them. Um, let's talk a bit about Jungle mm -hmm. because I the same that many people have different you ask 100 people about Jungle, you get 100 different answers. Mm -hmm. So, what is your definition of Jungle and what you know, what you stay true to? I'd say my definition of Jungle is you know, yeah, like you say, everyone's got their own versions, but I'm just going to be straight and just say that it's that kind of 93 to 97 kind of era of the music. So any, 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 right, anything, yeah, yeah. Any, anything that was made in those years, all those for me, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, that's jungle, man. All, yeah. the, all yeah. the kind of mash-up, you know, the snare rolls and the, you know, the kind of simple bass lines. The really yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, yeah, just lots yeah. of amens, you know. Yeah. But for me especially, like, the, the bass lines are just dead simple. Mm. I think with drum and bass, the way it's gone now is the bass lines, People make uh, uh, the artists are making them very kind of deep and very intricate, and you know it's very ex and very in, in some cases very experimental. Mm. And you know that's that's wicked, man. You've always got to have that avant-garde yeah, of, the, of music. the music. You know mm. that you've always got to have people pushing the boundaries, trying of to take course, it forward. Yeah. yeah, can't can't not have that. But I think at the same time you need you need it dilutes the actual essence. Mm. Of yeah, the whole you forget because yeah. if you go too far into the future with it and to too, experiment too much with it, I think you end up losing. So You've always got to pay a nod to the past, haven't you? Like yeah, you've always, of course, you've yeah. At least recognise you know, it. Yeah. And yeah, I think yeah, it's it jungles is. having a renaissance. It's like that, isn't yeah. it? It's like that. It's been, it's been reborn, and, mm. and like you know, it's really exciting because of that. Because it's that, like I say, that for me, it's, it had that certain and and, and and kind. You know, we always mm. talk about it how it had that. It's the way drum and bass is now. When you compare it to jungle. Mm. It's just got a totally different feel to it, man. Yeah. Totally. I now. think part of that is because of like you know the fusion of sounds, like as we were talking about like earlier on. Is that know? with like um, analog and digital yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, part? yeah, that definitely comes into it for sure. Um, but I would say also, you know, in terms of like at that time, um, because the the music was new mm. back then, 
Um, you had people drawing upon their sort of, what inspired them prior yeah. to listening yeah, true, to that. True, yeah. So you had the soul elements in there, you had the sort of like rare groove, you had the mm. hip hop elements, like you had the, obviously the reggae and the reggae, yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? And that was what they were listening to prior to this new music coming kind of about. Mm. So they drew on that experience to throw it into this new sound. Let's have a talk a bit about the software and I've noticed that you're using Reason and I've seen a bit of your hardware and now you've got the 808 in there, you know what I mean? You've got some wicked equipment, got some deck over there that I've never even seen before. <laughs> yeah. I thought I knew yeah. about decks, yeah, me. Yeah, there's some special one over there, man. You know what I mean? yeah. So tell us a bit about the hardware and, and the clicks in it. Um, so, well, it's 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 kind of like it? it's a combination of various uh, producers that that we work with and we know and that and we all kind of just put it together mm. in, in the studio together and just you know pulled it all together basically mm. um, and it's resulted in that man and we've yeah. got like loads we've got like yeah it's just like real to real machine in there man mm. we've got like you know valve compressors in there and stuff but the Beautiful thing is organs, you know man. yeah we've got organs jam organs and stuff but it's like yeah man we've got massive sound libraries as well man in there so it's difficult to get around to all the vinyl all, well. and we've got all yeah, the vinyl to yeah. sample as well man so yeah. you know with all that stuff there i suppose you know it's hard to get through it all man but we just do whatever it's just it's because there's so much there it just gives you that complete freedom to just dive in at yeah, any point. Experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, experiment and do whatever, man. But you know what I mean? It's like, if you want to get an idea down quick, you know, you don't have to start from the from scratch and get all the bits together. They're just all there, ready to go, and you can just jump in and, and just get on with it, man, because we've kind of spent the time sampling over the years and, you know, collecting, uh, you know, sort of... You know, How big is your sample bank? Uh, oh, it goes back years, isn't it? Mm. So, like, because it goes back so long as well, like, you, you, don't get me wrong, we, we, we were carrying a fair amount of, like, baggage within that it's as like, well. It's got, like, a terabyte like, easy to... Yeah, to like... Yeah, yeah, like, like <laughs> just yeah, the idea, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just individual, like, half-second samples yeah, and... A long time collecting, you know what I mean? A long yeah, time like, collecting. And because like we're in a little collective where there's like quite a few of us, like everyone brings their their you know things to the table, so if I can call it that, whether it be equipment, whether it be sounds, whether it be records, whether it be you know CDs that have been lost and found, you know what I mean? It's you know, like I said, a nice little melting pot. And because so, of that, we can dip in and out whenever we feel. So let's talk a bit about your actual production side of it. Mm. So when, what do you start with? Do you, speak, do you start with a beat, or do you, well, let's let's go back to the actual idea. What do you think to yourself, or what do you jungle, or drum step, or drum and bass? You know, take us a bit through the the process. Mm. I suppose it depends on the mood, and or you know, sometimes like things are made to order, isn't it? It's like mm. if you if you, if we're doing a remix or we're we're doing. Um, a remix for a certain artist who wants it in a certain style, mm. then obviously we have to fulfil the brief. Mm -hmm. and, that, yeah. yeah, exactly, and, that, and that's that's totally cool, and you know that's what we want to do, and like work with other people it's because like a, it's it makes like us a challenge, versatile. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got to prove that you're versatile as a producer, and yeah. as well as yeah. Yeah. versatility is you know definitely a plus. Um, so yeah, in that sense, like that that's good. But with regards to maybe our own stuff, it, like it really is a vibe, as what Aid said earlier. It can be. It can be mood that will influence it. I mean, mood mm. always influences it, but yeah, you know, yeah. you like things like it just being a summer's day or something yeah, true, could true. influence it. Um, and so, yeah, we tend to just vibe with the feeling of that time. You know what I mean? And and roll it out, whatever it may be. So, you know. But tell us a bit about the beats. What about the beats <coughs> that you choose as well? well you don't always use a name, and it's you know, it, it's. You kind of like vary which sort Yeah, because of, sometimes because which we're, I mean that you use as well, I've noticed. As yeah, well, we so. use a lot of amens, because, but we love the amen. We love yeah, them, yeah, but I don't yeah, really care. I just love it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely bit, a signature of well, like your yeah, style. Do you know what I mean? Well, you know, people could people could say to me, oh, you know what? Every tune you ever play has got like, or every tune you guys ever play has got an amen in it. And I'll just say to them, man, I've been listening to that break for the last. Nearly eight or eighteen years, yeah. It's I'm still not bored of it. Yeah. <laughs> what can we expect from you from Dawn Raid in the next, for the near future? Yeah. Um, well, over the well, we managed to kind of sign a a, a deal like about best part of eighteen months ago now, isn't it? Mm, um, yeah. 
luckily enough, we had a few sort of like bits and pieces that were floating around between sort of people who were close to us and, you know, extended friends and um, a couple of our tunes um, sort of found their way to um, Mike and um, Vapor and um, pick up Mike and um, 36 Hertz and basically he um, sort of cottoned on to our, our style, do you know what I mean, as we were talking about earlier and as a result of that we signed a deal with him, so an exclusive one as well. Big so thing. yeah, I mean due to that, does that, that give you the freedom and also like the um, this, that's, I suppose I was going to say safe for them, but it's not really the right word. Yeah. You know, that, that element, it's got that, that element someone actually, in it. That actually wants you to yeah. do what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. It's like someone, you know, has found the faith Believe in us, in you know. You. I mean, don't get me wrong, up until that point, like people like Sappho, you know, mm. Big Up Sappho Advisory Records, up, like, yeah, you know, he, he did show an interest in like mm. what everything we were doing and like, um, you know, we had a few tunes out with Sappho and that, that was absolutely brilliant, like, and yeah, yeah, you know, like, hats off to him in that respect, man, he's, he's a definitely a good, he's definitely sort of valid shows. mentor of yeah. ours over the, you know, the time that we've been Bit coming of up. Of the game, it? Yeah, no, for real, man. man, for real, that I always have ultimate respect for Sapps, like, he, you know, he's a legend in the game as far as I'm concerned and as far as we're concerned, so, yeah, so for sure, man. yeah, man, then the natural progression after a few sort of releases was that sort of, like, confidence to sort of like say okay yeah if someone is taking an interest in us to sign us exclusively let's roll with it because you know we're going to have a consistent output for our tunes which has led us to where we are today and we've, you had a good following as well you know with the blacks like chrissy chris and yeah and and exactly it definitely right. helped with opening doors as well mm -hmm. you know to those sort of people and i suppose giving it rubber stamping our tunes and mm -hmm. saying yeah these guys can make tunes and mm -hmm. i'm saying that as well so let me pass it to people like bailey and and chrissy chris and you know even l double back in the day dropped a few of our tunes when he was on one extra with Sappo and that so yeah big up L big. and um, yeah you know that that led towards you know people like Mike like taking an interest in us and then he's really supported us from then on um, to, yeah like I said to where we are now where we've got quite a few things like coming out over the next sort of year or so you know yeah, like yeah, it's, it's sort of yeah we can kind of see the road sort of like mapped out um, well, the, we've got um, Back to the Base 2, which is yeah. out at the moment. Um, we've got a tune on there with, you know, a, a real Blade star Runner. of the scene at the moment. Yeah, yeah Blade, man. man like, killing it right now, isn't it? Yeah, got Blade, man. guy's super too talented. Much, too much, Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smashing like, it down, mate, honestly. Yeah, like, he's a top, top guy as well. Um, so, yeah, big up Deb. And, um, yeah, like, we've got a tune with him on that on the Back to the Base, um, and that's just dropping now. Um, and we've got an EP coming out next month. Um, which is called um, Tears in the Rain, nice. um, four track EP and the, the feedback of that, you know what I mean, has been like wicked so far. <laughs> So it's coming up as well, or you're just mainly like in the studio now trying to. What about an album? Are you guys thinking of? Yeah, doing an album? we're doing it. That was part of the deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, go we're going to be doing an album, which we're hopefully going to or have two. done. Yeah, we've got two that we've got to do, but the first one we're going to have finished by sort of end of this year. Mm. Be sort of set up probably. Is yeah. that going to be mainly jungle, or are you? Yeah, to work on what's sort of um, It's not going to be all all just jungle. It's mm. we kind of decided it was going to be, um, you know, we were, we we've decided it was going to be something that was kind of a bit a bit more um, eclectic. It had a wider range. Mm. So yeah, I mean, and that was a part of freedom of the deal as well. Yeah, so yeah. Was like so, what we wanted so, that within there, and like to be honest, Mike supported us I mean, 100%. I'll, I'll, so nearer the time, I think we'll we'll kind of start to it'll start. To, Come clear how that's going to pan out. But, mm. uh, you know, at the moment, it's kind of we've not really been focusing on the album. Uh, we've got stuff that we've started putting together for it, but mm. we've not had to work too hard on it just yet. Because um, so because we've just been busy kind of cementing the the kind of you know, like Kojo says the the kind of the tracks the, foundation. the, the foundations. Yeah. Just getting getting ourselves on board, getting yeah. ourselves sort of you know sort of into the into the sort of. What you, I don't know what you want to call it, into that kind of thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. You know, right, which, like, is, which is a big jump, really, you know, for, I think. Well, really, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are already there, you know what I mean? So, I think, yeah, respect, 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 man. Respect, man. You know, as far as I'm concerned, one. listening through your tracks there, it's like, see, yeah. take me right back, you know what I mean? And when I found Slipmat on there, it's just like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I went this, you know what I mean? So, as far as I'm concerned, man, definitely cemented in the game, man. Nice one. We just said, I guess our message for, you know, the thing we want to bring to the to the music is that you know 
that is that that time that we really that we really always remember about the music mm. and just bringing that and if people enjoy that, bringing yeah. it back to yeah, life. Yeah, 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 but bringing it bringing that bit back to life, man. And if people enjoy it, man, then I, and I'm sure that you know there, there's a lot of people out there that do, man. Yeah, and, well, you know, well. that's for them really. Do you know what I mean? And anybody else that wants to listen to it, like I say, we're not trying to do anything. I I'd be the first to say we're not trying to do anything that's like new and exciting and innovative and never been done before, man. Mm. We're just trying to it's do our thing, man. Yeah, it's just our vibe, man. It's like a, forgot, a forgotten type, it's a forgotten um, genre. Yeah, because really, the music yeah. moves yeah, on so it. quickly, yeah. you know, you find that periods get forgotten about and you'll find yeah. in, I don't know, five years time, there'll be probably a jump up revival with, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and all the old hazard tunes and all we'll start coming back yeah, out yeah, again. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, exactly. so it did, like you say, things move in cycles. And I think at the, around about now, it kind of just seems to be that people are getting onto that kind of jungle sound. So, future for Don Reed. Well, okay, hopefully it's bright, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, like I said earlier, it's going in a nice direction for us now and things are start, starting to sort of snowball. Mm. So, yeah, we're as busy as we've ever been. Um, we've got a lot of gigs coming up, um, a lot of them in the northwest, a lot of them sort of like, you know, within our you know, our um, capacity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's I'm nice to do well, gigs. It? It's nice to do gigs at home because you obviously get that love and appreciation from the home crowd and all that. Um, we've started to do gigs like, as I just said, abroad, and like that's been wicked, man. Like show a lot of love for our German pals. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, shouts to like Gerdy, Julian, and like you know everyone over there. Sensation, Sensation crew, man. Put us on over the past few months. So that's been. A bit of an eye opener because it's something we did like back in the day, but you know, since sort of like getting on the producing route, it's been a lot harder to attain. But right. obviously, once you get to a point where people are loving the tunes and that, you, you start to get the notice. So, yeah, we've got a lot of gigs coming up over the next, um, well, over the coming months and so it's getting the more gigs, really. future, which is nice, man. Yeah. It's nice. It's, and, um, it's it's not like it's not like we've got any like major agenda. I don't think we want to. You know, I think I'm, I'm saying this for when I speak for both of us. I say we don't want to take over the world, man. We're not going to be the biggest. We're going to be the biggest thing, <laughs> the biggest thing in the world. We're going to take it over. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. the world is over. Yeah. Yeah. Put everything in it. No, it's like no, not at all, man. We're just gonna. Just have fun and do, Just have fun and do yeah. a thing, man. Yeah, that's what it's always been about from the start. That's how. That's what it will always be about. You know what I mean, it's what we. It's what keeps us sane in life, man. For so, real. Well, so as far as I'm concerned, man, the tunes are wicked. You know what I mean? No, really nice yeah. speaking to you guys, man. Learned yeah. a lot from you too. Hey, Deep man. inside, man. Big, Big ups. ups. Big up, man. Same. Nice, nice one, one, man. Respect yeah. for everything, man. So it's been rollers, Don Reed, Let's yeah. Reed. Peace. Yeah, big up. Peace. <laughs>